What's going on everyone? This is Dragrats here and today it's gonna be another motorbike video and let's just get straight into it. Alright, so since the last time you saw the bike, it's been quite a while and some things have changed on it since we saw it. You see, it looks a little, a little bit different. We got the new exhaust pipe, new carburetor, a smaller sprocket. But let's start off with this exhaust. This is a Suzuki RM80 exhaust pipe. Fit perfectly, except we had to do this custom weld uh, to the stock mounting uh, part of the exhaust. Just weld it onto here and fit perfectly on there, sounds amazing, works amazing. And then we got the Suzuki RM80 carburetor. Just using a radiator hose to the stock intake manifold. Works fine, not the best, but it works. So might get a reed valve later, I don't know. It's tuned and everything, works perfectly. And I also got the 32 tooth sprocket. It's smaller, so increase the top speed by quite a bit still pulls great from start especially with this uh, exhaust and carburetor but let's start it up and take it for a spin and check the top speed on it As you hear, it sounds amazing. Guys, videos never do justice. If only you guys heard it in real life, it just sounds so good. It is not, it's not what a CDH66 or a Zeta MZ65 pipe, that's not that. This is something else. This is, everyone been telling me to get me one of these and I finally got one, man. You will not regret getting one of these. Just buy one from a dirt bike, and gotta do some custom welding and put it on. It sounds amazing. Also, if you get a different carburetor you can hear the carburetor sound it, it makes this, the whole bike sound a lot deeper and it sounds really good so I recommend this to everyone who has a motorized bike get an exhaust and a carburetor for your bike all right guys I'm gonna give you guys a quick flyby I'm gonna put the camera I'm gonna do a flyby so you guys can hear how this bike sounds like Alright guys, now I'm going to go find a long stretch of road and do a top speed test and show you guys how fast this thing goes. It's on 20 inch wheels, but it does have like, it's basically maxed out almost, but let's go do a top speed. Alright guys, so we got our speedometer right here. We got a long stretch of road 
and let's check the top speed. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and we're gonna do the, a run. Okay, now let's open up the speedometer and see how much we hit of a maximum. 45. It did feel like it went at 45, but I'm, I'm sure that's not accurate, but it sure goes around somewhere around that speed because this thing does go well, yeah, around 45 miles per hour on 20 inch. I bet if this was like on a 26 inch bike, the whole setup, It'll probably reach around 60 miles per hour. I don't know, somewhere around there. But yeah. All right, so wrapping up my video here. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you got any questions about the bike or anything else, comment down below. I answer every single one of them. So we're almost at 200 subscribers. And whenever we hit 200 subscribers, I'm posting a video of a, I just got myself a new motorcycle. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little sneak peek right there if you guys saw it that's all you get to see so stay tuned for next video i'm gonna show the whole bike i'm gonna review everything tell you everything about it should be coming out in a week or so or whenever we hit 200 subscribers and also i'm gonna show you guys a little mustang update so it's torn apart right now whole front end because everything's getting repainted all the chips and cracks and rust that was on it we're getting uh, so new bumper and hood for Thunder from the Black Mustang right here, and the uh, original fenders are getting fixed and repainted for Thunder. So stay tuned for this video too. That's coming up soon, hopefully. And yeah. all right, so I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Y'all know what to do, and see you in the next one.